Yo, what's going on, guys? If you guys are interested in watching me play live, my Twitch is in the description down below. Make sure to hit that follow button, and I hope to see you there. Peace. Finally have my very first class setup to share with you guys and that's going to be the m4a1 recon assault rifle now as you can see it's level 71 i wanted to wait until i actually level up this gun all the way through and got to mess around with all of the attachments it comes with because how can i give you a best class setup if i haven't tried every single attachment right so with that being said my attachments are going to be based around agility speed and also maintaining that recoil yeah let's just get into the class setup real quick first of all i as a secondary it's up to you it's personal preference i'm just using a pistol so moving on to perks i got scavenger so we can replenish our ammo and stick to the same weapon that we're using then i got on ghost so we can stay hidden from those enemy uavs dude intel is everything in this game you know this is a very very different type of call of duty where intel is everything because the minimap is just not the same anymore now we have the compass and uavs are basically it feels rewarding to get those because you know how powerful uavs are but when it's being called on you that's when the enemy has the advantage and that's how you probably find yourself dying a lot so you have to run ghost ghost is something i will never run without in this game then for my third perk i'm using tune up now the reason why i'm using tune up is so that i can earn my feel upgrade a lot faster it says that you earn it by 33 percent faster here let's go just go take a look at it reduces the charge time of field upgrades by 33 percent now i actually did test this and the reason why i'm using this is because i highly recommend using the dead silence field upgrade that will keep your footsteps totally silent enemies will not be able to hear you you are going to be able to earn your field upgrade in literally a minute or less depending on how many kills you get because each kill that you get goes towards your field upgrade so that's about it for my first three perks here then for my lethals yes i know it's the dreaded claymore but you know what this is a question i have to ask you do you want to die by claymore or do you want to get kills by using the claymore you know it's either you or the enemy you decide i mean that's just the name of the game either you do the killing or they kill you so if you can't beat them you got to join them now that's why i'm using claymores claymores are going to watch your back when you're holding down an area i'm not talking about sitting in a corner i do not advise doing that and the thing that i like about claymores is that it allows you to cover all the entrances and the windows you know there's so many different points of entry in these maps that we've ever seen before so having claymores is definitely going to be useful because it will watch your back when you're busy looking at the other points of entries or dealing with other enemies and then boom Boom, you get a kill oh wow there actually was somebody there so you know it goes to show that if that claymore wasn't there then you probably would have died off of your streak so you will be thankful more than anything that's why you got to run a claymore so for tactical just keep it basic flash grenade is actually pretty useful too in certain situations but if you have stim shot unlocked i definitely recommend that you put that on as well so you can heal yourself a lot faster and it will definitely help you survive a lot longer so going into the class setup right here i've got no muzzle on and i'm going to explain that in a little bit but let's go over the attachments first i got the ffs 12.4 inch predator now this will increase your sound suppression and aim down sight speed this is very important in this call of duty because of how fast the time to kill is you know anything that gives you that mobility and speed as far as aiming down your sights and just shooting the enemy first is super important and key in winning those gunfights that's why i've got this on because of the pros and cons now this kills two birds with one stone it keeps you off of that compass and the enemies have no idea where you're at when you're firing your weapon other than just being able to hear it but very slightly because it's a sound suppression but it also does keep you off of that compass as well now the reason why i like this one versus using a muzzle is because you do get two birds with one stone with a muzzle it's just a suppression of your weapon you know that's pretty much it 
laser nothing optic is nothing all right then for stock and stock is a big one here for improving that mobility so the sin guards arm invader will give you aim walking moving speed pro so the pros to this one is that it's going to increase your aim walking movement speed now in previous call of duty such as black ops 4 strafing left and right was super important to win those gunfights and with this equipped it allows you to do that so you will find yourself while you're adsing and you're sidestepping left to right you are going to be a lot more evasive and harder to hit and definitely that will contribute to winning more gunfights so being evasive is definitely important and just being a harder target to hit in general is going to help you win more gunfights so that's why i highly recommend putting this sin guards arms invader stock attachment right here uh then for perk uh we've got on the recon so this will help you see enemies from areas that you probably didn't even know that they were at because it's going to expose their gamer tag right above their player body and that will definitely tell you that there's an enemy around and that will give you a chance to react hopefully in time but you know without it you know let's face it in modern warfare it's really hard to see enemies because they blend in so well with the map that you just oftentimes find yourself confused like yo where did i just get shot from but of course you need to be aimed in in order for this to take effect so make sure you aim in from longer distances just to get a general idea of where enemies are and then that will tell you like okay which angle can i approach and attack these people from without being spotted first yeah having this on is definitely a personal preference but it's something that i also highly recommend for people to use all right, then we got stippled grip tape. Now, out of all the attachments, I feel like this might be one of the most important ones because one of the pros here is aiming down sights and it's also the sprint to fire speed. So uh, sprint to fire speed is basically shooting your weapon after a sprint. So of course, in winning those gunfights, that is gonna be essential. And if you've ever felt like, yo, dude, like I shot first, but I died first. Well, you know what? Maybe he has an attachment that you don't have. So that's why sprint to fire speed is super important. And that's why I said it's one of the biggest attachments that you could put on your gun because it'll help you just be one step ahead of the enemy uh, just slightly just a little bit so being able to pull your gun up a little bit faster in a gunfight is going to increase your chances of winning those gunfights so that's why it's super important all right so our last attachment here is the operator foregrip now the reason why i picked this one is because of the recoil control and there's not too many cons to it yes there is an, a slight aim down side speed decrease but you know what i'm not really worried about that because we do have another attachment here uh, i believe it is this one so it's basically a counter accident anyway because this one also gives you aim down side speed uh, so this one controls the recoil and this is an attachment that is much needed on this gun because well actually a lot of the guns in modern warfare do have a lot of recoil to begin with so putting on this operator foregrip is definitely going to help you control that recoil now one thing i have to say is that just because you've got the recoil control on this weapon class setup right here doesn't mean that you can just point aim and shoot somebody cross map and expect for there to be no recoil because there still will be recoil so you need to remember and get into the habit of tap firing that trigger so that you could get more accurate shots as well and adding on the operator foregrip is definitely going to make that a much more easier uh, experience for you by tap firing instead of just holding down on that uh, shooting button all right uh, so yeah that's about it for the class setup guys you know i hope you guys enjoyed today's video I definitely wanted to make sure that I tested all of these attachments before I came out with a class setup video for you guys because this year is extremely different. You know, I need time to level up these weapons before I can actually recommend something to you guys. So that about wraps today's video. Don't forget to drop a like if you did find it helpful and make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. This is a very good stat to show right here that a lot of you guys actually do watch my videos but you guys just haven't subscribed yet so make sure you hit that subscribe button stay tuned turn on the notifications because i will be coming out with more class setups and in-depth tips that will help you get over this modern warfare flu that we all seem to be going through man we will get through it together all right you guys peace Hey guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member. And if you are interested in joining, there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you. Remember, this is not required by any means and I appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.